Drowning remains a significant concern for many living along the coast, especially during the summer. In response to the problem, the Warobi Le Life Saving Aquatics Academy seeks to address this by giving free swimming lessons and training programs aimed at the youth. The academy says it provides ongoing education, swimming and water safety schools. News of Africa's reporter Nasipi Same joins us live. Nasipi, good to speak to you this afternoon. Just walk us through some of the activities that are being carried out by Warobi Le. Well, I'll first show you um, the group that is currently in the pool. Don't be fooled by the weather, uh, Hugo. These uh, young, the, rather the youth here in Milnerton, are having a time of their lives, as you can see, that they are in the water. Warabile, a life-saving aquatics academy here in, in Maitland, is saying that uh, it is important to be water-wise, not only for communities living on the coast, but also for communities living inland, as we do also see drownings in rivers and dams alike. But to talk to us, I'm joined here now by Keith Abrahams, the founder of uh, this organization. Keith, we just saw people now having time of their lives, but if you could just take us back to the start of Warabil. Hi, good afternoon, viewers. Um, yeah, Warabil was, uh, it was an, an incident that happened at Camps Bay Beach where two boys drowned and uh, while they were on excursion, their bodies has never been found. Um, their names were Waruna and Kwarabili, and I joined the two together, and I opened up um, uh, an academy, Warabili, Life-Saving Aquatics Academy. Uh, this inception was about 2015. Just could not take it off the ground. Uh, uh, there was a lot of hiccups involved, but I just kept going regardless. And um, I find myself now uh, in a situation where, um, where the kids are, are, are not motivated enough to, to, um, to come to uh, you know, this type of uh, lifestyle because of drag, drugs and gangsterism and they occupied in criminal activity. And I decided, look, I need to get these kids out of, the, out of that um, where they found themselves and get them out of that um, environment and now that uh, Warabili is actually kicking off now to, to uh, where I find myself now at the moment. Can we just talk about uh, the kids themselves? I mean, we saw earlier on about an eight-year-old learning how to swim, uh, moving from one point of the pool to the other. But what do you do when a young child comes here and wants to be a part of this, this family um, and they don't know how to swim? Yeah. Look, these, these kids come, uh, you know, a disadvantaged background and um, my heart goes out to them. And there's too many drownings and, and the stats will tell you 1,500 uh, um, human beings drown every year. And I decided, look, these, these kids need to have a, a vision and so what I do is I, I do the skill, the life-saving skill, how to save yourself first and um, they get a, a certificate, level one and um, once they pass that and then I teach them how to swim so when somebody throws them in the water they know exactly what to do they will save themselves so these kids that, that, that I've um, collected over the period uh, since 2015, a lot of them faded away. They come and they go. But um, like I said, you can only do so much. So what I'm doing is at the moment, I'm picking up the kids and dropping them and uh, introducing them to different uh, departments from law enforcement, traffic, firefighting, learn to swim, all those type of stuff, first aid, level one, two and three. And uh, a lot of them are interested but you just haven't got the funds, you know, to, to keep them going because um, that is, for me, a, a, a hard sore thing at the moment. So should anybody uh, find it in their heart to just increase, we, just to give us HCH, top up with water, you know, that will help us, you know, what a beauty, just to move forward. On that note of moving forward, you said that... Um 
before this pool became what it is now, yeah. it was, you know, a dilapidated yeah. structure. And you are looking to go to other communities yeah. um, in the metro. Yes. Now, this pool was dilapidated for four and a half, five years. Uh, water restrictions and, of course, um, Holy Cross School uh, probably couldn't keep up the upkeep of the pool in itself because it's an expensive commodity. And Holy Cross in itself uh, decided that, look, they were going to close the pool and then um, the ex-principal said, Keith, are you interested? And I made the pool where it is now, workable. Uh, there were struggles, but it is there now. It's ready for, for the community to jump in. And I don't want to only do Maitland, Kensington and Faxington. I want to do Kuguletu, Kaya Lecha, Pontyville, Manenberg. I want to spread my wings because the kids need a pool. This is their love. This is their joy. We all were kids, you know. And we love being in the water. And I just want to pass my knowledge over to them and get this thing off the ground. And Keith, you were speaking about 1,200, if I'm correct, of drownings. 1,500. 1,500, yes. my apologies. That was stats from 2022. There we go. Um, how important is it for people not only living on the coast, but inland as well, to be water-wise? Yeah, look, um, with the climate change and everything like that, each household must be able to swim. They must be able to save themselves, and uh, whether it's inland, outland, you know, uh, pools, rivers, dams, wherever there's water, we need to have a safeguard somewhere. And, and the emphasis is not too much on water by the looks of it, or that is my opinion, but we've got a lot of institutions, we've got NSRI, we've got um, clubs, Menandi, Samfontein, all of them, those, kids, those people are doing a wonderful job, you know, uh, to keep our, our, our country safe with we, we, the coastline, you know, where people are bathing and summer and, they, you know, there's quite a lot of tragedies that happen. You cannot blame the lifeguard in itself because it's a tough job and some of the people don't listen, you know, and, and I've been around for quite some time and I've got quite a few rescues under my belt. Thank you so much. That is Keith Day Abraham. So we'll just step out of shot, Hugo, and just allow the visuals. Uh, to basically show you how happy these youths from Maitland are, part of the academy, being taught how to swim and other skills as well. Thanks for coming to us and that's where we'll leave that conversation.